Um, David Brown is Seven News uh, meteorologist. Good morning, dear Brownie. Good morning, Ross. How are you, mate? Very well. We're, we're standing by. We'll have a yak to you. And we're also going to speak to uh, a radio colleague at 4CA and Cairns Radio, which is uh, presumably where this cyclone Category 5 is heading. One of the things that we have noticed uh, when we look at the particular the, the radar maps is that the, currently it is going over a place called Willis Island. And we are musing to ourselves, we wonder whether there's anyone on Willis Island and what the heck would that be like at the moment? What, oh, new, what news do you bring? Ross, it would be horrific. Willis Island is, uh, well, it's a small little atoll just outside the uh, the reef there. There are three weather observers from the Weather Bureau who live out there for about six months at a time. And uh, those guys, I I'm sure, would be bunkered down at the moment. I've been checking their observations on a regular basis. I've noticed we've had nothing since uh, 6 o'clock their time, which is 7 o'clock our time at the moment, which I suspect their weather vane may have been knocked out already because uh, at around about uh, 6 o'clock their time, the winds were gusting to 140 kilometres per hour and there's been nothing since. So, Would they have been, uh, in order for them to have been filing reports earlier, would that have required a human presence or could that have been done remotely? No, that, a lot of it's done remotely, um, Ross. What they, what they tend to do uh, uh, when they're not taking weather observations is send up weather balloons, but of course they won't be doing that for a number of days, so they'd be bunkered down inside a, a fairly solid building just waiting out for the eye of the storm to move over the top of them because at the moment the eye of Yassi is only 60 kilometres from Willis Island and that eye will go right over the top of them. And when the eye, I've got this vision in my own mind that the, the eye itself is quite calm. Is that something I've read in a boy's own annual and is it completely wrong? It, it is. It is. It's eerily calm, uh, Ross. That's exactly what it's like. The winds all of a sudden just drop out. The sky is clear. You'll look up through the wall of the cyclone and you'll just see blue sky. And then as, it, uh, as the eye starts to move over the top, which it could take, the speed this thing's moving at, there'll probably be virtually no wind for up to an hour, and then you get the other side of the cyclonic storm. And this thing, as we've heard, is a, it's already reached Category 5, so we'll have wind gusts nudging 300 kilometres per hour. Wow. Does that mean that the wind, when it moves before the eye, is travelling in one direction, and then... After the eye, it's travelling in the other direction? John, that's exactly right. That's, that's exactly what will happen. So for the people on Willis Island at the moment, the wind's coming out of the south. Uh, it, is, it is winding up. The last report, as I said, was about 140 kilometres per hour. It'll probably get very close to the high 300s. The wind will then just drop out. And then once the eye moves over the top, the, the wind will swing around to the north and it'll be probably around about 250 kilometres per hour. And I've now got, the, uh, it's probably not for a discussion for now, Brownie, but uh, I want to know what life, no, a normal life on Willis Island is. <laughs> <laughs> for for I, a meteorologist, what do you do all well, day? Well, look, I, well, I the to, world's biggest friend. I used to work at the Weather Bureau many years ago, and I knew a few blokes who went out there, and the fishing apparently is absolutely <laughs> sensational. Lovely to catch up with you. <laughs> See you, David. Thanks. Thanks David, David Brown, seven years meeting. Meteorologist.